Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name's Daniela, and if you're new here, we like to make crafts and cocktails. So, cheers and let's get into it. Our first DIY for this Winter Wonderland theme is this cute little snowflake door hanger. It is super easy. I got this little snowflake tray from the Dollar Tree and I'm just coating it with Mod Podge. And once I do that, I am using Epsom salts, which I've seen on other videos, to give it a snowy effect. Now, I will say Mod Podge uh, did dry pretty quickly, so I do end up using glue later, which you'll see in a second. But if you use a thick enough coat, it might work. So here I am just sprinkling on some Epsom salts. Then I go in with my glue, like I said I would, just because it just felt like it wasn't sticking enough and the Mod Podge was drying really fast. So I smoothed out a couple of the edges with my finger that didn't have as much sticking to it and I am going in with some extra Epsom salts. Then I'm going in with some chunky silver glitter to fill in any of the gaps that may have been left empty from the chunky Epsom salt. I'm gonna scoop off what's left, sprinkle it on my tray, and just do the best I can to fill in all of those gaps. <laughs> yes, you're gonna be full of glitter afterwards, but it'll rinse off. So I'm just tapping off the extra into the um, garbage can and cleaning everything up with my fun new ladybug vacuum. I love it, look how good it works. I've seen this with a couple other YouTubers channels and I am obsessed. So the next part is to take this um, big styrofoam snowflake from Dollar Tree. You could use really any large snowflake uh, piece. They had a bunch of different hangers, ornaments, or wooden pieces that you could paint, whatever you want. And I just took off the ribbon that we will use later to hang it, and all I'm doing is gluing this in place. I realized that I did not wait long enough for the glue because uh, as I'm trying to glue on my little piece of ribbon, it pops right out. <laughs> I really struggled with my glue this day in a few DIYs, but it works out. So again, I'm just going back in with a bunch of hot glue and making it stick in the center, and that's it. I will say I did end up moving the ribbon piece just because it wasn't sitting flush, but I think it looks great otherwise. Hey everybody, I just wanted to pop back in and let you know that this Winter Wonderland themed video is in collaboration with the Crafty Quinn. So when you're done liking, commenting, and subscribing here, go check out her video. I'll have it all in the link in description. Here is a sneak peek at her channel. She creates really creative and simple DIYs. I really recommend checking her out. If you're new here, I hope you stay, and if you've already been following me, I'm so happy you're here. Now, let's check out what today's cocktail was. We are using some Sprite, vodka, jarred pears, limes, and ginger for this drink. I'm starting out by taking a couple slices of ginger, throwing it in an ice-filled glass. Now, admittedly, I wish I would have gone back and muddled things first, but it still turned out great. Then I'm juicing half a lime into each drink and putting in a few slices of pears. Again, could have muddled this earlier, just didn't think about it. Then a few scoops of our delicious pear juice, and we're gonna top it off with some Sprite. This was actually a really good drink. Oh, how did I forget? Duh, a nice tall shot of vodka. Anyways, <laughs> this drink turned out really good. It's not too sweet and it's pretty simple, just a little bit with a bit of a zing to it, and I love it. Back to the crab. All right, number two is this gorgeous winterscape. So cute. This one is super fun because it comes on the back of this little sign from Dollar Tree that says, Believe in the Magic of Christmas. And I thought that was so cute that I actually left it so it can be a reversible sign because, I don't know, it seems kind of magical to me that you can flip it around and there's a whole beautiful winterscape there. Yeah, anyone with cute nails is cringing right now because I don't own a heat gun, so I'm scraping my tag off. <laughs> Then I am using some white and blue acrylic paint and simultaneously dipping my brush into both. And I'm gonna coat the whole background with these colors. This does not need to be neat or perfect. We're gonna color or paint all the other edges so it doesn't matter. And I really like the variety in the whites and blues so I didn't want just one flat blue color in the background. So all I'm gonna do is just cover that entire backside. Then I mixed some blue with a little bit of black. You always want to make sure that when you're using black, you only use a little bit of it because it really consumes colors quite easily. And I'm going to very carefully just go and paint my inner edges, that kind of edge on the outside. Um, how do I describe that? 
you know, the one that's just like, <laughs> it would touch the wall if you put it against it. I don't know. You're going to paint that blue and then the actual outer like box or frame of it. You could totally use painter's tape for this. I was being lazy um, and didn't want to wait for mine to dry. So I just decided to do it very, very carefully. Okay, so this is the edge I was telling you about that I didn't really know how to explain. But you're going to go ahead and paint that with your dark blue too. And um, make sure, I, I think I ended up having to mix more. I don't know if I filmed it or not. But just make sure you have enough to go all the way around. Where the twine was, I honestly didn't feel like finding a creative way to fill it. So I just went over it with paint until it was filled. There was a little like twine hanger on the top of this. And now there's not because I wanted it to be a standing, standing sign. My goodness. Okay, now we are going around the outer edges again with just some blue mixed with black. I think this creates a really nice shadow box effect. While that dries, we're going to take this cute little Christmas van from the Dollar Tree. It came in a little pack with that and one of those little red trucks. And I am just dry brushing on some plain white paint with a brush just to give it a little bit more of that snowy feel and I don't know the bright the excuse me the red was just a little bit too bright for what I wanted then I'm taking a tiny brush and some blue paint and just painting over the window and the doors to help match our little winterscape after I've got everything painted blue that I wanted I'm taking a little bit of Mod Podge and going over the little snow on top of the van and then areas where snow would fall so some on the door some on the windows some on the wheels and I'm using some really fine iridescent glitter to just kind of have, help add some sparkle to this little thing. Here comes my ladybug I'm telling you this thing is awesome I have it linked in the description pick it up for yourself okay. That's how our van turned out, and now we get to start assembling because our little frame is dry now. Oh, I lied. <laughs> we are actually going to paint some glitter in the background. Sorry, guys. So, sorry, it gets easier to see here in a second, but I'm using this, like, chunky acrylic glitter medium I got from the Dollar Tree. I think it's, like, two bucks, and just creating some waves in the background just to give it, like, a windy, snowy feel, which I think really adds a nice touch. Now we're going to start assembling. These little white trees came in a two-pack from the Dollar Tree. Oh, there I am. I had to cut off part of the back. Yeah, I, apparently I make really weird concentrating faces, okay? But anyways, I cut off the back to make it a little bit more flat so that it fits a little bit better in my little shadow box thing. And then for the second one, I wanted it to be even shorter than it was, so I just cut off the bottom. And then I just hot glue both of these down into our little box. Once you've got that going for you, you can start assembling the other things. So I took a little cotton round. I got this idea actually from um, Maria Kuna DIY to like rip up little cotton pads and it creates like essentially snow. So I'm shoving that a little bit into the corners um, in each corner as well as a little bit under my little shorter tree and then is when I hot glue my um, little wagon down. So I'm just making sure that I have snow in the places I want before adding glue to the wheels and setting that in place. I think this turned out so adorable especially again the fact that it's reversible like look at it and then you can flip it over believe in the magic of Christmas. And then there's magic right on the back. Oh, too cute. So our third one is this adorable wine glass with twinkly lights, some snowflakes, and glitter. I'm using this wine glass. It came from a Riesling bottle, and I just soaked it in hot water and soap to get the label off. And then for all of you non Cricut users, these are just little um, reusable stencils that I got from Amazon. I'll leave the link down below if I can find it. I did buy them, I think, a year ago for face painting obviously with the pandemic I'm not really face painting but anyways they came with a bunch of Christmas designs so I'm just taking out some of the snowflakes placing them on my wine glass and then excuse me wine bottle then I'm just using a sponge and some white paint and just dabbing onto those stencils you do not want to drag the paint and you don't want to have too much paint because it will smudge and get up under all of those little crevices so just be really gentle and patient and honestly it looks better if you have um, less than more because you can always just dab it a little bit if it looks a little fainted just make sure that you're being careful 
Once I've got those initial ones down, I'm just moving them and placing them somewhere new and I'm doing the same process. I'm just using my sponge and my paint. And honestly, I had almost enough paint for all of this. I barely had to, you know, reapply. So again, less is more in this instance. Then I peel those off. And if you went over the edges, it's totally fine. All I do is take a little bit of piece of paper towel, get it wet, and then just rub it off. If yours is like super dry or being stubborn, you could probably use a little bit of alcohol and that will work just fine. This is already looking cute, but we are going to make it even cuter. I'm using some tulip silver glitter fabric glue. You could use glitter glue. You could use glue and just pour glitter, whatever works for you. And I am going around in like a diagonal motion, making some swirls and polka dots all the way down my bottle. I just thought this would make it way more whimsical and more festive for this winter wonderland theme. Now it does look cloudy and white right now, but it does dry beautiful and clear and you'll only see the silver glitter, which is really fun. Sorry for all the camera angles, guys. My camera likes to fall um, a lot. So sorry about that. Just be patient with me. <laughs> and this is how cute it's looking so far. It looks great already and it hasn't even dried yet and we haven't even finished it. So the next thing is I got these little cork lights also off Amazon and I am just untwisting it. Again, I will have this product in the description down below. These are so fun. They come in a pack of, I think, 12 and they make great gifts if you want to decorate bottles, paint them, glue some um, clay on there. I know that sounds crazy, but maybe I'll explain that a different time. And so I am just pushing it down into my bottle and then ta-da the magic I felt like it was missing something on top though so I just ended up taking a little piece of twine that we took off from the last sign and made a little tiny bow on the front of it and I think that even though it's just a simple touch it looks really really cute so I really think it added a lot and I'm glad that I put it there now let's check it out look how gorgeous you guys the lights off oh my gosh it makes such a mood when you're watching a movie so cute again makes a great gift or some home decor and again this is when it's not dry it's dried in the picture last but not least is this really elegant snowflake tree so I just cut out a random chunk of poster board I was like, yeah, this seems like a good size. I don't know. I just knew I didn't want it to be the whole size, so I cut a literal random chunk. And then I'm using some hot glue and burning my fingers a few times to curl it up. Sorry, guys, I was changing the music. Anyways, <laughs> I'm using hot glue to just curl it up and make it into a cone. I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this before, and to be honest, um... It was slightly harder than I thought it would be, but you know, it gets better. So I'm just wrapping this up and then I'm going to cut off the bottom to make it even, which was also a bit of a trickster for me, but whatever. It's okay. It ends up being super cute and worth it. I actually got this cute like snowflake pattern fabric at the Dollar Tree too. I've never seen fabric there before, but um... I don't know, every Dollar Tree is different, honestly. So I'm basically gonna do the same thing. I'm just going to wrap this little fabric all the way around our poster board cone and just adding glue along the way until it's completely covered. It did end up having quite a bit extra that I didn't feel like I needed to keep rolling. So I do take a scissors and just cut off some of the extra and do my best to make a straight and not jagged line so it doesn't look too janky. You know, we don't want it looking yuck. Then I'm taking this really gorgeous ornament I found at the Dollar Tree. I had no idea what I was going to do with this. I bought it a while ago, but I just knew I needed it because it was so beautiful. And I'm taking it apart and I'm just going to use half of it or it's a little bit more than half because I used the background too. But um, I ended up having to unassemble it and then glue it back together in order for it to work because there is like a little bit of a stick or a post on the other part of the ornament, which we do end up using later. I ended up adding a thin iridescent silver E ribbon around our cone. I just felt like it added some nice detail and also kind of distracted you from the wrinkles that I totally should have ironed out, but you know, oh well. So all I do is take this 
thin little ribbon and wrap it around and I'm gluing it each time that it passes the back seam of our fabric. That way we don't have glue wrapping around everywhere. I actually cut it pretty close to size. Um, it did end up being a little bit short of the back seam. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I just kind of tucked the extra fabric underneath the cone. It kind of makes it more stable. So here I am just fixing the back end and making sure it's nice and tight and glued to the bottom. Then we're going to take our gorgeous ornament, slap on a bunch of glue, and center it onto our tree. I don't have it filmed, but I do end up later adding some extra glue um, on areas where the snowflake is touching our tree. To fix the top of it, because it does have a little bit of a gap, I cut all the edges off our other piece of our snowflake where it's just got a rhinestone on a little post or a little stick. Sorry, it's out of frame. That's better. So you can kind of see it sitting on top of there. Then I'm like, huh, I should have uh, added a little something, something extra. So I do end up cutting some of the other pieces from the snowflake and just gluing them down. It just felt like it needed something that helped transition it from the top to the rest of the tree and honestly I think it turned out really nice either way so I'm pretty happy with it. And here's all of our projects. Let me know which one is your favorite down below. The glitter glue is dry on the bottle in this part so you can kind of see how sparkly it is and I just love how shiny and bright these all turned out. Thanks so much for joining me today you guys. Check out Crafty Quinn and I'll see you next time.